Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The bond and covenant of marriage was established by God in creation. It signifies the mystery of the union between Christ and his church, and Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity, and what is God's will for the procreation of children and their nurture in the knowledge and love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Into this holy union, Amy Sun and McLean Wilkinson now come to be joined. If any of you can show just cause why they may not lawfully be married, speak now or else forever hold your peace. <laughs> Amy and McLean, I require and charge you both here in the presence of God that if either of you know any reason why you may not be united in marriage lawfully and in accordance with God's word, you do now confess it. Nope. <laughs> Amy, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. McLean, will you have this woman to be your wife? to live together in the covenant of marriage. Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be, faith be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Will all of you witnessing these promises do all in your power to uphold these two persons in their marriage? We will. Yes, we will. Who presents this woman to be married to this man? Way Let us pray. O oh, gracious and ever-living God, you have created us male and female in your image. Look mercifully upon this man and this woman who come to you seeking your blessing and assist them with your grace that with true fidelity and steadfast love they may honor and keep the promises and vows they make through Jesus Christ our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 We have two readings from the Holy Scriptures. First is from the book of Mark, chapter 10, verses 6 through 9. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. What God has therefore joined together, let not man separate. And from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 1 through 13. If I speak in the tongues of men and angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith, so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when the perfect comes, 
the partial will pass away. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. When I became a man, I gave up my childish ways. For now I see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then I, know, then I shall know fully, even as I have been fully known. So now, faith, hope, and love abide, these three. But the greatest of these is love. Amy McLean, may I say your vows? Amy, I am so happy to have found you. I promise to be your partner, your lover, and your friend, to sing and to laugh with you, to dance with you, and to share our struggles and our triumphs. I promise to be your adventure buddy, whether we're staying in a Hawaiian bungalow or in a truck stop, truck stop off Iowa 80. Amy, I am so happy to be in love with you. I promise to build a life and a family with you, to journey through this crazy world, come pandemics or lockdowns or desert thunderstorms or anything else that comes. I promise to always have fun with you and to always remember how blessed I am to have you to share my life with. Amy, I am so, so happy to be married to you. McLean, before we met, I was uncertain and alone, and I was so stressed about things that were outside of my control. But I remember on our first few dates uh, in Land's End, Golden Gate Park, just walking with you, being with you, I realized that you made me happier than I had been in a very long time. And I was, I'm certain that we had found something very special. I love you so much, McLean. Together, we are unstoppable. Whether we are driving across the country during a global <laughs> pandemic with no plan, or building the next generation defining company, or replacing the use of fiat currency globally, <laughs> my love for you is immutable. I promise you, I will always be there for you. I will always love you. I will always challenge you. I will always be your adventure buddy and your partner in crime. Uh, and in the words of our favorite, one of our favorite novels, Dune, the future remains uncertain. And so it should be, for it is the canvas upon which we paint our heart's desires. Cole, bring the rings, please. Bless, O oh Lord, these rings to be a sign of the vows by which this man and this woman have bound themselves to each other. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 You may place the rings on each other's fingers. Please join your right hands together. Now that Amy and McLean have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of a ring, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation and giver of all grace, 
Look with favor upon the world you have made, of which your son gave his life, and especially upon this man and this woman, whom you make one flesh in holy matrimony. Give them wisdom and devotion in the ordering of their common life, that each may be to the other a strength in need, a counselor in perplexity, a comfort in sorrow, and a companion in joy. Grant that their wills be so knit together in your will and their spirits in your spirit, that they may grow in love and peace with you and one another all the days of their life. Give them grace when they hurt each other to recognize and acknowledge their fault and to seek each other's forgiveness and yours. Make their life together a sign of Christ's love to the sinful and broken world, that unity may overcome estrangement, forgiveness heal guilt, and joy conquer despair. Bestow on them, if it is your will, the gift and heritage of children and the grace to bring them up to know you, to love you, and to serve you. Give them such fulfillment of their mutual affection that they may reach out in love and concern for others. Grant that all married persons who have witnessed these vows may find their lives strengthened and their loyalties confirmed. Grant that the bonds of our common humanity, by which all your children are united one to another and the living to the dead, may be so transformed by your grace that your will may be done on earth as it is in heaven. Where, O oh Father, with your Son and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign in perfect unity, now and forever. Amen. 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 All now bless the marriage. Most gracious God, we give you thanks for your tender love in sending Jesus Christ to come among us to be born of a human mother and to make the way of the cross to be the way of life. We thank you also for consecrating the union of this of man and woman in his name. By the power of your Holy Spirit, pour out the abundance of your blessing upon this man and this woman. Defend them from every enemy. Lead them into all peace. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts, a mantle upon their shoulders, and a crown upon their foreheads. Bless them in their work and in their companionship, in their sleeping and in their waking, in their joys and in their sorrows, in their life and in their death. Finally, in your mercy, bring them to that table where your saints feast forever in your heavenly home through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you in the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May I now introduce to you the newly married Amy and McLean. You may kiss the bride. Thank you. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Yay. Yay.